What's up basketball fans, welcome back to Trash Talk. Padilla and I'm today with Vince Garcia, Vince, aka Vince the Barber and Greg Matter in LA. How you doing Vince? Good man, how are you? Good man. So we all know that you got a lot of NBA clients, but I would like to know when was the first time you cut uh, NBA players here? Uh, my first client was actually back in Toronto, um, Chris Bosch. Oh, Chris Bosch. Yeah, Bosch. so Chris. When was that? Man, that was like... It was a long time ago. <laughs> time ago. It was definitely, it was probably like two or three years before he even moved out here. Okay. Uh, before he moved to uh, Miami. Miami. Yeah, so he was my very first client. And then from there, it just, it just, uh, it was like a trickle effect. Man. And it just, you know, kept growing and growing. It was just all networking. Like, you got a lot of NBA clients like Damian Lillard, like LeBron James, but how is it like though to gain trust? You got all these players trust to cut um, their hair. It's, it's uh, you gotta be professional. You know what I mean, you can't, you can't be uh, starstruck okay. and like try to ask for pictures. <laughs> uh, but you know, you just gotta go there, be professional. Um, you know, go there and do what you're, you're, you're there to do, and uh, you know, just be consistent. Consistency is key in being a barber. Um, but a relationship goes a long way, so you know, be respectful. Uh, respect all the time. Um, yeah, man, just be professional. Professionalism is, is key. So. And then, as I just said, you got a client as, as big as LeBron James. Like, I would like to know, how did you wake up with LeBron the first time? Well, LeBron's uh, personal barber is one, like, one of my good homies. And so, um, you know, we look out for one another. Like, I got so many clients that he cuts and vice versa. So, um, the moment I found out LeBron moved out here, it took you know a couple months until uh, Nick, which is his first ball before he moved out here. So I took care of LeBron a couple times. Uh, you know I was blessed to be able to cut him uh, for his first game, suited up as a Lakers, so that was big. Um, but no, I've done a lot of projects with LeBron, um, including the shop on HBO. We we actually shot that back in Toronto also weekend. Um, oh, that so that was like ago. yeah, but yeah, like three years ago now. So. You know, I've been working a lot with him and his team, like Mav, Rich Paul, all those guys, they're clients of mine as well, so, um, yeah, you know, just built a good relationship with those guys. What was your reaction, though, when he asked you to be on the shop? Uh, man, it was huge. <laughs> I was just like, man, this is a blessing, you know, like, I'm being able to, to be a part of such a big, uh, big project with one of the best players in the, in the world. So um, it, it's it's good. It's a, it's a blessing, and uh, you know, I'm learning a lot. Learning a lot. Okay, now uh, you got a lot of clients. Like I think Luka Pierce also. Do you still have like a dream client that you want to do a haircut? Um, yeah. Who is uh, There's Nas. Nas. You know, I've had I've had opportunities to cut him. It just it was wrong that timing. I wasn't in town a couple times. Uh, I would say Nas are probably Jay Z. Oh, so it's yeah. up to you. Just so let me know. Two biggest one right yeah. there. Yeah, simple, simple cuts, but you know, it's definitely the legendary, legendary clients, clients yeah. right there. I know you're a big Laker fan, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, Lakers. Yeah, Lakers. Yeah. So, how far do you think the Lakers gonna go this season? It's tough, man. You know, um, they definitely have potential. I think it's, a, it's just a matter of them figuring out, like. You know what players work well with who, and like they just you know they, they start off well, and they just gotta learn to execute and, and hold the lead. You know what I mean? And, um, they, they got a good chance, man. You know, they, again, they just they, they gotta build up their confidence. Um, you know, play good team ball and just, uh, just keep working towards that shit, man. <laughs> well, it's a championship. Yeah. Right? Do, you think they get, they, do you think they get it this year? <laughs> it's tough. First year, you know what I mean? I, I, I know there's a lot of growing to do still. They're still all trying to get familiar with each other. Um, and then with all these talks for next year, it's, it's tough. You know? I think me dealing with a lot of players and seeing what they go through day in and day out, it's, you know, it's a lot of pressure, man. A lot of, a lot of pressure than what most people think. So. But I, I think I think they got a good chance. I think they might might be a Toronto Raptors and a LA Lakers. Bro. Yeah. 
Oh, those are the only teams right there. Yeah, Raptors and the Lakers. Raptors and Lakers, oh my gosh. Raptors and Lakers. Raptors are doing yeah. good too. I know, man. Just hope for I stay. So, Vince, thank you for the interview. Thank you. And sir. also, thank you for the fresh cut. Of course, bro. For everyone that in Los Angeles, don't forget to visit Grey Matter on La Brea and Beverly, I said? Yep. Okay. Perfect. And don't forget to follow Vince on Instagram at uh, Vince the Barber. Yes. And uh, the shop is uh, at Grey Matter LA. So man, make sure you guys do that. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next video. Peace.